Yes, sir. My tricker. Back up in this thing, man. Today, we'll be taking another peek inside Pandora's box, man. Today, I'm reacting to some creepy TikToks that might just ruffle some feathers. But before we hop into that, man, go ahead and spam that like button right now so we can run the numbers up on the algorithm. You ain't got to think about it later. And if you haven't already, man, go ahead and hit that sub button, man. Sub up. Join the family. I promise you, this is the most lit and active community on YouTube, period, man. And to everybody who's already subbed up, you already know. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for helping me build this community from the ground up. But with that being said, guys, let's hop straight into the video. I'm sorry, now. I just found what? Oh god, what's happening now? Oh god. This is a NASA spacecraft which is 19,000 feet above the surface of Jupiter. Now you probably know Jupiter is huge as a gas planet and it's a bloody long way away. Take a look at this photo, which the spaceship captured today. A mysterious green light coming from the planet, like what the hell is that? Apparently it's believed to be lightning, but who actually knows? This hasn't been proven yet and people are still looking into it. But who knows? Hit that follow button and I will keep you updated. I'm not sure how they're able to tell that that's just lightning from this one image. I feel like this one you're a little more investigating. Well, we have some news that's just come through on email, Jim. That's rather unfortunate a statement from Ocean Gate itself saying that we now believe that our CEO, Stockton Rush, Shazada Dawood, and his son, Suleiman Dawood, Hamish Harding, and Paul Henry Najle, mm -hmm have sadly been lost. These men were true explorers who shared a distinct spirit of adventure and a deep passion for exploring and protecting the world's oceans. Our hearts uh, are with these five souls and every member of their families during this tragic time. We grieve the loss and the joy they brought to everyone. Those parts that they had found earlier were about 500 feet from the bow of the Titanic. The assessment from individuals at Ocean Gate that I've been chatting with today indicated that if it was from their vessel that it indicated a catastrophic failure mm -hmm. of that vessel uh, and that uh, unfortunately they they were lost. Ocean Gate confirming right now that uh, those five individuals are the mm -hmm. the it is not clear that they have found the entirety of the mm -hmm. craft but they have found parts of it indicating to people at Ocean Gate that uh, that the craft uh, did not survive whatever initial uh, event occurred there. Man, my condolences go out to the families of the people on board, but there's still a lot about this that I don't understand. Like, billionaire or not, I don't think anybody is risking to get on that makeshift sub. But let me know what you guys think about this one. Okay, everybody's been watching this video of this Marine that was in Indonesia and saw the flying saucer that feared for his life. Well, you come out as a whistleblower, and I like to watch things two to three times just in case I miss something they said, or anything else for that matter. Well, I did miss something the first time. Nice little pin. At least he's not trying to hide it, I guess. They reach in with the Michael Jackson and be a young boy, but the rest I can see. if you're not claustrophobic this would make you panic bro they miscalculated all the physics what about uh giant sloths i've had probably three years of research into giant sloths in my opinion one location on earth it's in high peru where nobody goes it's a bowl of mountains impenetrable the only way in is a helicopter in the center that bowl is going to be like a primordial eden all of the cultures surrounding it have old stories of giant sloths they all have different names for it but mana Puguri, I believe is how it's said. It's the South American name for giant sloths. They all have these stories of these giant sloths. They were all hunted to extinction. However, they've handed down these traditions, but nobody except for, you know, a tiny handful of 
far out tribal people have ever really got into this impenetrable ball. And I think if they're anywhere, they're in there. I can't imagine something that large hanging from a tree, but of course we have something to do with the extinction. June 20th, 2024. I know I'm a little slow, but that's not an airplane. It's not a rocket. Maybe the dragons have been released. Somebody pissed off Godzilla. I don't know. What the hell is this? Whatever it is, it's shaking my house. It sounded mechanical to me, but shaking a house, it had to have some base to it, bro. That's terrifying. This has got to be one of the strangest videos when it comes to supposed Egyptian stones with mysterious superpowers. I'm not sure if this is real. I'm gonna roll the video and let you decide. I'm convinced that there were many ancient civilizations before us with technology far more advanced than we give them credit for. I feel like if these bones were real, they would have them locked up in the basement of some museum somewhere, not out where you could take pictures, bro. This gotta be a movie set or something. Recording live in the backyard. <laughs> My days of being an amateur meteorologist with me right at that moment. No, this is not photoshopped and people's heads will all start to morph into this. A dent, I have a dent, it's a f***ing indent, that's bro. You don't. Okay, well- Scientists predicted that many internet users will all have heads in the near future and their heads will dent. However, this is no longer a prediction and is now happening across the world. People were terrified when Twitch streamer Curtis had shaved his head for charity. Dude, the shaver's working like a champ. Dude, I have like an indent right here. This is where my headphones go. I have a headphone indent in my head? Curtis was terrified to see the start of a dent. Oh, but there's more because it didn't just stop there. This prompted other gamers to shave their heads and to post their shaved heads to speak up about it. Streamer Tim the Tapman posted a terrifying photo of what his head has turned into. Is there a dent in my head? Dude! Many people have now been opting out of using headsets to avoid this, but it might be too late for many. The scientist's prediction also talked about gamers' bellies as well as their hand shape. So, which will be next? If you have a dent in your head like that, it might just be time to hang up the sticks. I still get bad service on my iPhone. I can only imagine how bad the service was on these. Waverly Hill Sanatorium in Louisville, Kentucky was a prominent tuberculosis treatment center from 1910 to 1961, during which more than 6,000 people died. The sanatorium was abandoned and became known as one of the most haunted places in America due to reports of unexplained sightings and experiences, including doors slamming shut, shadows moving, and the smell of cooking food. Several spirits are said to still roam the halls, including a large dark mass and a shape that crawls up walls. 6,000 people you can guarantee is haunted just on that fact alone.
Hard pass. It's happened again for the second time in about a month. A tourist in Hawaii has driven into the same harbor that another person drove into, claiming to be following GPS. You gotta leave the car right now. Once it's gonna start taking on water right now. In the case on Monday, some nearby boaters were able to help the woman get to safety. She told local reporters that she thought the water was a big puddle. Now, because it's happened twice before, twice now, tour operators have driven in the area testing different GPS apps, and they say every time they drive, it shows that this area is a boat ramp and not a road. Wow. That's how they're driving right into it That's well it wouldn't be happening twice. i don't know how you get the ocean confused with a big puddle anaconda swimming through a swamp grove Amazon is on my list of places to avoid. Two new minerals were identified that have never been seen before on Earth. The discovery comes after a piece of a 34,000 pound meteorite crashes into Somalia. After scientists examined the space rock, they noticed some parts weren't identifiable by microscope. Those parts were the two new minerals. The first is called El Ali Light, which was named after the El Ali meteorite since it was found near the town of El Ali in Somalia. The second is called Elkins Tantanite, after Lindy Elkins Tanton, Vice President of Arizona State University's Interplanetary Initiative. The reason they were able to identify these two minerals so quickly was because similar minerals had been synthetically created on earth before this is an epic discovery bro imagine having a mineral named after you oh my god Alter. It's still tornado season, but lately they've been looking a lot more devastating. Safety with Kanye, bro. Chris, <laughs> he's the real Chris Brown, and he's not allowed to get on stage. It's the only way he can make his money. So you feel like that was like a lookalike that did that? Huh? Do I feel like it was a lookalike in Chris Brown's body? Wait a minute. Okay. No, it's, Chris Brown is not that. It's just the same. It's the same thing with Kanye, bro. The taller Kanye, the smaller Kanye, taller Kanye. I was Yay. They started making more Yays. Chris Brown, that was not Chris Brown on stage. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I'm an alien. What? Oh. It's not Chris Brown on stage, bro. Let him cook. Well, Chris Brown, he believes in UFOs. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Do you think you ever been abducted? Uh, nah. Do you think you ever seen anything that looked different? Uh -uh. Why do you believe? Because I'm an alien. Why? Because I'm an alien. Okay. Explain. Thanks. Do you now? Do you feel like, and I don't mean you know sometimes time people think alien with the oh, eyes and out of space and all that stuff, but you really feel like you're not of this planet. I don't know. No, I'm an alien. A part of me tells me that he was serious. An ominous video of a bright red UFO over Russia has appeared online recently. What do you think this is? Let's take a look. Mm. Evo ga, Dragane, evo ga opet, Dragane. Evo ga opet tamo. Da, da, da. It looked like it was completely made of light, but I'm not sure if the video is legit. Let me know what you guys think. Ow! Ow! Oh my god! Look at that, that's a river attacking me. Hello? <laughs> they 
they had on flip flops and shorts. They were completely unprepared for that. But I feel like these storms are getting a lot more biblical lately. Look at this QR code. The QR code that people have holds a lot more information on them than they may think. Okay, this is Canada's QR code, but many countries have a similar thing. Look at all the information it has on you. Religion, organ donor, driver's license, marital status, non-essential access, reserved for future use. So that's a thing that they're going to have more info in the future. Allergies, smoker, uh, uh, are you a firearms owner? Uh, are you a restricted firearms owner? Uh, are you, do you have any warrants? And then look at this. What's your credit score? How many accounts do you have? How much do you owe? What did you make this year? What did you make last year? This is how much information that QR code will have. This will be the social credit system on if not a carbon copy of it. They already know this information about us anyway. This just makes it that much easier to find. Just walking down the trail, me, Gavin, and Greg. Say so what's up, Gavin. Hey, how you doing? Here's Greg. What's up, Greg? He's the quiet type. We can't get him to talk. Yeah, we know you, Greg. We know you. We, we know you. It looked like the back of Voldemort's head, bro. That's just unsettling. Did any of you see that Netflix film called Don't Look Up? This fictional tale of an asteroid that's coming and the astrophysicist warns society and no one believes them? Uh, everything I know about social media, politics, how people interact with science and all the deniers out there, everything I know about that tells me that movie was instead a documentary. I'm a little alarmed by that. What is he hitting at? Show that it's not my glare again because people always say that kind of stuff. Zoom out. <gasps> Zoom in. Out. <laughs> in. This is a freaking glitch, Mom. What is happening? The Matrix. Matrix. <gasps> so exciting. <What> oh <laughs> my god. I'm the most confused. And on the naked eye, you naked only eye, you see the big sun. Cannot sign. see it. I'm pretty sure it's just something going on with her camera, but let me know what you guys think. The old building. It's from the old world, the sacred buildings. They used to have these brass balls and they loaded them up with mercury and they put them real high up so that they could gather atmospheric energy which is free energy. The higher you go up, the more energy that's up there. And they would run, for example, a copper wire down into their home and they could use that if they wanted free energy or to light their light bulbs or whatever things that they had in the home. A lot of this is never disclosed. For example, when we look at all of these things from the past, we start to look at a lot of things were about electrical conductivity. Look at that. They all look like conductors, right? Sacred buildings are looking like conductors. They're built like conductors. There's free energy right there. Free energy right there. But the thing is, is they changed all the history to make it look like everybody was fighting each other. It was medieval. People were going against each other. But in reality, I think that hidden history of the past is very different than what we've been taught. Even if they discover free energy today, greed would never allow it to come out. No. Look at the muscle tone on this statue made from a single piece of rose granite. Check out the detail between the toes. This is incredible. This rose granite ranks an 8 on the Mohs scale of hardness with a diamond being 10, so it's extremely, extremely hard. This detail is amazing. Look at this garment. Look at the detail on the belt, almost like an ultrasonic cutting tool was used. And of course, the belly. I don't think you can get precision like that with a copper chisel. The effects of the video monitor compatible mesh on my son's safety bed.
He looks too much like a ghost. I'm gonna have to do away with that safety screen. Oh, I will be on Indeed the very next day looking for a new job. Neighborhoods in South Florida are under quarantine this morning after sightings of invasive giant African land snails. Officials say the snails eat at least 500 different types of plants and can also chew through plastic, stucco, and even signs. Oh They're Pointy shells are also sharp and hard enough to blow out tires if vehicles run over them. The snails also pose a significant health risk to humans because they carry a parasite which can cause meningitis. We can't catch a break. Now we got to be on the lookout for snails. A bathroom in Shenyang, right, Japan contains this odd statue that period. sings and moves. You can't sit down under your things, under these guys eating right in front of you so here we are so we're going some fast and new one and then the music starts I wouldn't feel comfortable going to the bathroom with something staring me in my soul like that. All right, so my tire exploded. Fine. Jack it up. Put the donut on. The donut explodes. Fine. I Uber to Walmart. Swap the tire out. Uber back. Jack my car up to swap it out. My jack buckles under the pressure and the car falls onto the concrete. Okay, so my jack's broken. Fine. I call highway patrol. Hey, can I use your jack? They show up with backup and search my entire car. Great, they unpack everything from every bag. And here's the kicker, they didn't even let me use the jack. I was like, okay, now that you've torn through my entire vehicle, can I please do what I called you here to do? And they were like, nope, call a tow truck. I would feel cursed too if all that happened to me, bro. His luck is horrible. An autonomous self-driving train with about 30 wagons of iron ore was derailed in Western Australia. It happened on Saturday evening about 20 kilometers from Dampier in the Pilbara. There's no report on what actually happened, but the company that owns the train, Rio Tinto, has said that no one was injured in the accident. This isn't the first time an autonomous train has failed. In 2018, BHP deliberately derailed a runaway train loaded with iron ore headed for Port Headland. Reports are saying it's going to take about a week to clear up the wrecked track, so hopefully the company can cover shipments from the port until then. What's the advantage of it being autonomous then. This is why you should always keep your head on a swivel. In 2017, an elderly woman who lived alone thought she saw something moving in her backyard and went to the window to have a look. As she's looking around, a shadowy figure emerges right on the other side of the glass standing in her backyard. Terrified, she keeps an eye on the figure while calling police, but by the time she hangs up, the figure's gone. When the police arrive, her front door is unlocked, so they go inside and they find her still sitting in front of the window looking for this figure. The police search the backyard, but they don't find anything. When the police go back inside to search the house, they quickly find some large footprints that couldn't have been hers in the room that she was sitting in and all around the first floor. That's when they realize what was going on. She wasn't seeing a shadowy figure in her backyard. She was seeing the reflection of someone in the room with her. If she would have delayed calling the police any later, bro, I feel like this story would be different. And this is Rusty and their dog. And look at that mother right there. What? That's the, he wasn't there. They look now. No, look, look, he's floating. What? Look at his head. Dude, I gotta get something. Dude. Look at that. And he, wa yeah. he wasn't there. You can see his shoes and everything. Dude, look at his head. 
I'm not buying this one just because he's in such regular clothes. It looks like somebody just put on a mask then jumped off the porch to take this picture. Este, en este momento está sonando la alerta sísmica. Esto no es parte de un simulacro. En este momento se siente un temblor. Se está moviendo el piso. Ustedes ya saben qué es lo que tienen que hacer en este momento. Conservar la calma y evacuar de inmediato. Me voy a levantar y voy a evacuar. That anchor was dedicated to sticking that line. Get this man a raise. Might be a telephone pole, but still, I touch it. I learned a horrifying fact about astronauts, and now I feel like you also have to learn this fact. I was innocently scrolling through the Wikipedia page for space food when I saw this. When I tell you it never occurred to me that astronauts can't burp normally, I guess now I'm explaining burps. Normally, gravity pulls all the liquid and solids in your stomach down to the bottom and puts all the gases at the top and then you can burp it out. But because of the lack of gravity, you don't have this luxury in space. It's all together in their stomachs, the liquids, solids, and gases. So if they do burp, it's all of it, which is why they call it wet burping. But you might have figured this out. It also means another horrifying thing. More air is going the other way. Which makes this statement extra horrifying because now you're telling me that astronauts don't shower, exercise two hours a day, and are gassier? I, I don't know. They would have to give me an economy pack of times if that's the case. Okay, Here we go. where are we? We are in Tau Mata Waka Tangi Tanga Ko Au Au O Tamatea Tulipu Kaka Piki Ma U Maunga Horo Nuku Poka Iwi He Nua Ki Tana Tahu to his life. If you lived on this street, it would take at least two to three business days to text somebody your address. But with that being said, guys, that was the video. Thank you for coming to kick it with me. Let me know what you guys thought about these creepy TikToks in the comments below. And until next time, y'all take care of yourself.